This is Eugene Pandrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 15-N laptop with a cracked digitizer, and I'm going to show you how to replace the touchscreen digitizer and the LCD screen for a HP Pavilion 15N. It can also sometimes be known as the HP NV 15N. In this case, it is a pavilion. Okay, so let's start with the tools we're going to use because we have more than usual for this procedure. We have a PH0 Phillips electronics screwdriver. PH stands for the size, or PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. And we have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a pointed end, and that is used to pry open the touchscreen digitizer panel and also to lift up adhesive tape. And we have a pair of scissors, and that's to cut adhesive tape when we put the new digitizer on. And we have a heat dryer or blow dryer, hair dryer, and that's to remove the touchscreen digitizer from the plastic bezel. Okay, uh, one other comment is that this procedure is not difficult, it's just long. So most people can do this at home and just uh, give yourself one to two hours. It is time consuming in some parts. So just a word of caution ahead. Okay. Next, before we start working on this laptop, we want to close it and remove the battery. And that's so the laptop doesn't turn on while we're doing this. And what we do is we have this the right lever inward and push the red left lever inward and just slide the battery out and put it to the side. Okay, and while we're still on the bottom, I'm going to show you the part number that we're this laptop is the model number. If you look at it, it says model 15-N020US. What's important to us is this end. N. The procedure that's in this video will work for laptops that are 15 dash N. Uh, other laptops uh, such as 15 dash J have a slightly different procedure and we'll be making videos for those also. Okay, let's talk about the anatomy of this particular type of laptop. It's a touchscreen laptop, so it has a separate touchscreen layer, which is the outer layer. It's called the digitizer, and then it has the LCD screen behind the digitizer. In most, in most cases, when there's a problem, the outer digitizer is cracked, and in most cases, the LCD is fine. Sometimes both the LCD and the digitizer are cracked, and in very rare cases, the digitizer is fine and the LCD is cracked. So we're going to show you how to replace the digitizer and the LCD in this procedure. So let's get started. Um, we're, first step is to pry off the digitizer layer from the screen assembly and it snaps off. And the way you snap it off is use a hobby knife to go into the seam between the gray part and the black part and gently start prying it off like this. Just tilting the hobby knife so you can hear snapping sounds. And this way go all the way around the screen assembly. In some parts you may get stuck, so come back to those parts later. And just go to the parts where you're not stuck. And also make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so when it's pried off it doesn't just fall forward. Okay, so we keep moving. For you it might be harder or easier, just depends on the particular laptop. And same on this side. And on the bottom, there's a seam on the bottom, so we flip the laptop to its side. And try open the seam on the bottom. There. So keep going like this. And just take your time on this. Eventually you'll get all the seams. Okay, when you pry everything open, what you want to do is lay the digitizer part down, the part with the digitizer and the screen assembly down. It's still getting stuck on something, so we're gonna make sure the hinge covers are loose. So what we did here, we loosened up this hinge cover and it came down. And let's loosen up this hinge cover a little bit. It looks like it's stuck on the bottom. There we go. Let's try again. Okay, now we can do it. So now we can lay it down. Okay, next is, this is the video cable. This is the cable that connects the screen, the screen to the laptop itself. So we want to lift it up out of, out of its catches and loosen it up so we can manipulate the screen better. Okay, next step is we have to separate the LCD screen from the digitizer. 
for this particular model, it is not that hard. For other models, they're glued on together, so it's a little bit harder. So to do that, we have to remove five screws that are holding the LCD screen to the digitizer assembly. So the screws are in the corner, and we remove them one by one and start a pile for these screws. For each step, for each set of screws that you have, start a separate pile and keep them in the order in which you remove them, and this helps you keep track of which screws go where when you put the laptop back together. So that's three, and here there's a little circuit board that controls the digitizer, the touchscreen circuit digitizer, and it's held by a metal bar, and that metal bar is held by two screws. So we remove the two screws, one and two, and gently lift up the circuit board and remove this metal bar and put it to the side. Okay, now we can lift the screen away from the screen assembly. Now, if in your case, if only the screen is broken, this is just a real easy procedure to replace the screen. Uh, remove this connector, uh, buy a new screen, we have it on our online catalog, and just put the screen in. Um, the, the procedure how to remove and install connector is in all my other videos, so you can take a look at that. It's the same for all the other videos. Uh, in this case, we're not gonna spend too much time on the screen itself because we can spend most of the time on the digitizers, the hard part. One last comment on the screen. Um, there's small metal clips on three of the corners. They're not part of the screen itself, they're part of the laptop. So if you just wanna replace the screen, you have to remove these metal clips by removing the screw and put them to the side. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say on this, and I'm gonna put the screen back. So now the fun part is we have to separate the digitizer, the glass part, from the plastic bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the digitizer. It's held together by some adhesive and we have to pry it open. So like I said before, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. And when I start this, I'm going to speed the video up so it's going to take about 10 to 20 minutes to do this. So the basic procedure is to heat up a part, insert the hobby knife in that part, and just lift up the adhesive and just go around. So. I'm just going to start and I'm going to speed up the video right now. Okay, we're gonna stop the video right here and talk for a little bit. There's a cable and a webcam we have to remove. And also we have to remove the connector from the old digitizer. So there's some tape that we peel back. And once we peel back the tape, we pull this connector out like so. And we keep going and I'm going to speed up the video one more time.
Okay, so we were able to remove the digitizer from the from the bezel. Uh, don't throw away the digitizer yet after you remove it. There's a rubber adhesive tape that pads the LCD screen. We'll have to remove that when we uh, put the new digitizer on. So keep that around for the time being and just put it somewhere on a paper towel or somewhere so the glass pieces don't get in the way. Uh, what you noticed also what I did was, I should have done it more, is I put some uh, tissues on top of the keyboard so to catch the glass pieces that are falling off. The best thing to do is to put a paper towel on top of the keyboard to catch all the small glass pieces. Okay, now that the old digitizer is removed, we have to clean up the plastic bezel and that just means um, removing the old adhesive tape and we're going to speed up the video here one more time so as not to take too much time. Okay, we're back. So we've cleaned up the adhesive tape from the digitizer, and in the process, it looks like the cable for the webcam became de-threaded. That's okay, we'll thread it back in. Okay, next step is the, we're gonna move this laptop back a little bit. Next step, and clean the glass particles up a little bit. Next step is putting in the new digitizer. It goes in like this, and it fits the bezel perfectly. But first, before we do that, we have to have some sort of adhesive so to attach the digitizer to the plastic frame. And what we have is um, this 3M double-sided tape. And what we're going to do is go all the way around with this three-way two-sided adhesive tape and put the side that has the paper backing on it on top. So that, this is what we use our scissors for. And for that, what we're gonna do is find the edge of it, which is right here, and cut off Cut off maybe a small piece that fits and then put it in little by little. So the things that we don't want to cover up is the webcam opening and that microphone opening. All the other stuff, it's, it goes to the bottom, so we don't care if we cover it up. So what we want to do is cut off a piece that fits just enough to the left of the microphone or to the right of the microphone opening and cut that piece and carefully Looks like we cut a little bit more than needed, so we cut off another piece. And then we we lay it down like this. So just just enough so that we, get, we don't get into the webcam opening. Okay, across the bottom, we can put a whole piece all the way across the bo bottom. There's nothing interfering with that. So we cut off a piece across the bo bottom and put it down. So just about, looks like just about the right size. Make sure it's straight and put it across the bottom. Okay, next we're gonna put a piece on this side. Once again, we can get away with one piece. Measure out the length. Or another way to do it is to put it down. Make sure you don't get too close to the edge. And just cut at the end, like so. And we put it down again. Okay, next piece is the other side. We're going to use the same process. Just put a corner of it down and slowly go down until we get to the part where it's too wide and we're going to cut it off again. So let's do like so. And finally, we're going to put two small pieces on the either side of this opening. So I'm not sure what this opening is for. So I'm going to, well actually, this is not for a webcam or anything, so I'm going to cover it over. So we have a small piece. So I'm going to put a small piece down, making sure not to cover the microphone opening. And finally, one last piece on the corner. I'm going to put that down here. So we have all the pieces all around the bezel that we need for the digitizer. I want to make sure that the digitizer fits. We're going to bend this circuit board over. And we're going to have to remove the adhesive film on the bottom of the digitizer. And also we have to remove the paper on top of the adhesive on the screen bezel. So to this can be this part can be a little bit tricky to lift up the paper without lifting up the adhesive. So we take our hobby knife 
and gently lift up the corner making sure that adhesive is still on and this one we did okay and we're going to do the same thing for this one going to go around like so and just keep pulling around And the next piece. So you can kind of manipulate things with the hobby knife. If the adhesive comes up with the paper, use the hobby knife to put the adhesive back down. And if the adhesive comes up, just put it back down with the hobby knife. Just two more pieces left. If one corner doesn't work, we'll go to a different corner. There we go. And just one small piece left. And we take off. Okay, so next we put our frame down, the bezel down, and take off the back of the back adhesive film off the back of the digitizer. This is the front with the HP on the front, and this is the back with the circuit board on the back. So we peel off the adhesive film. Once you peel it off, try not to touch the middle with your uh, fingerprints, otherwise you get fingerprints on there. And same thing, just peel off the film. Like so and put the digitizer down making sure that the circuit board goes into the up opening and not on top so just nudge nudge it into the right place making sure that the corners are aligned and work that i have to lift it up once or twice work the circuit board in Make sure it doesn't get stuck on anything. Just go around the corners, making sure that it comes up around the corners. The adhesive is still soft, so it can still be adjusted. And down here, it looks okay. Just work around the corners. Like so. Now you have the digitizer back on the plastic frame. Okay, and then there will be uh, one more step before you can start putting the digitizer and the bezel assembly back in. Okay, for this step, we need the old digitizer again. We line it up with the way it was before, and we see that right against the top where the back part is, the back part on the glass digitizer, there's some rubber, thicker rubber tape, and that's to cushion the LCD screen against the digitizer. And we want to remove this thick rubber, thicker rubber tape and not to lose the adhesive. So when you lift it up, you don't want to lose the adhesive. And then we gently remove it, being careful to retain the adhesive. If the adhesive starts sticking to the screen itself, we use our hobby knife to help us, and I made a mistake. I cut it, so what we're going to do is put it here like this, and we start over again. Try not to cut it and retain the adhesive. Okay, and we got started again. So we gently kind of keep going. We see that there's still adhesive on the tape side. And as long as we have that, we keep going. And we're gonna start on this side because we're losing too much adhesive. One way is just use our hobby knife to kind of shave it off, and that way you preserve the adhesive. And 
we can uh, speed the tape up over here. We've got a good procedure going, so we're going to speed the tape up here again. Okay, well now we got the rubber tape off. We're going to get the small piece off and then put it down. So we match where we stopped last time, where we ripped last time, and keep going, making sure not to go past the back part on the digitizer itself. Until we get to the end. So we go do the same, do the same thing with all the other parts. And I'm gonna speed up the video again here. Okay, so we're gonna put this one down. Make sure it doesn't get in the way of other parts and put it down here and we keep going so i'm speeding up the video again here Okay, we can finally get rid of the old digitizer as we have the last piece of rubber adhesive. We wipe the screen down a little bit because we've got some glass particles on there and we keep going. So we put this in a corner and lay it down. And finally, we are back to the shape we were in before. Okay, so now that you have everything on the digitizer, we want to bring the laptop forward again and thread the webcam in. So the best way to get this started is to put the webcam in where it was before, thread the piece underneath the circuit board for the digitizer and just go around and this way you don't have to guess where to start the cable. So keep going like this, thread the cable in all the catches. and all the way until we're back in, like so. Okay, next what we have to do is reconnect, we fold the circuit board down for the digitizer and slide in the connector. So let's get a close up when we slide in the connector. 
Okay, so until this is a properly engaged connector, let's get a close up. Until it doesn't go any further, that's this is good. So we put the tape down. Okay, next step is we want to mount the screen back on the digitizer. Before we do that, we wipe the digitizer down, making sure there's no glass particles, and you might want to use a um, glass cleaning solution such as Windex if you put some fingerprints on there. So we wipe it down and then we put the screen on top and everything fits so far. Next we put this plastic retaining bar in, making sure all the holes line up, and put the circuit board on top like this. And the circuit board might have a little bit trouble bending, but when it we put it back in, it should be okay. So next we're going to put the screws back in. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and that's it. So we thread the cables back in, and then we mount the digitizer and snap it back in. Okay, so you, when you snap it back in, just go around and snap it in every place, and it shouldn't get stuck anywhere. So you can even do it right now. And voila, you have a new laptop again. And of course, you take off this adhesive film on top. Then you put the battery back in and test the laptop. Okay, now that's it. It's a lengthy procedure, but there's it's not really difficult. It just requires patience. That's it. Um, we at Screen Surgeons sell the parts. Uh, we sell this digitizer that goes on top, and we sell the LCD screen for this particular model. And um, what you get from us is free email technical support. You get the tools that we used in this procedure, all except the scissors and the blow dryer. And we will ship you a length of the adhesive tape so you can use this adhesive tape at home. You'll still have to cut it and put it on yourself, but we'll ship you some adhesive tape. Uh, to buy these parts from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a short form for you to fill out, and then they'll guide you to buy the right parts online. Uh, when you get your parts in, make sure they fit accurately. The part number matches up and there's no damage, and you can start with procedure. the procedure. Uh, we ship for free in the continental United States within two or three days, and if you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow their regular checkout procedure, and I'll guide you where. Okay, that's it. Uh, once again, this took a little bit longer than usual, but it is entirely doable at home. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.